Hi, I am Hemanshu Nigam from IIPS and DAVV University and here I am explaining you how to calculate the order of convergence of secant method which is an iterative method. Now the iterative formula of secant method says that x of i plus 1 is equals to x of i minus 1 into f of xi minus xi into f of xi minus 1 divided by f of xi minus f of xi minus 1. Here we calculate this term by using its previous terms and the value of the function at these terms. Now we let that y be a root of this function on which the value of function f of x comes to be 0. Now we see that on calculating these terms we get some error in finding our root so we denote this error by e so let e of i plus 1 is equals to x of i plus 1 minus y and similarly from this we can write e of i is equals to xi minus y and similarly we can also write e of i minus 1 is equals to x of i minus 1 minus y now on putting the value of these three x like x of i plus 1, x of i and x of i minus 1 from these three equations and putting these values in this first equation la, and expanding f of xi like this f of y plus i and f of x, xi minus 1 is equals to f of y plus e of i minus 1 around y we obtain here on putting the value of xi plus 1 we get y plus e, e plus 1 is equals to this which is which is come by putting the values of x of i plus 1 and x of i minus 1 and x of i in the above equation. Now on simplifying this equation we get the value of e of i plus 1 which comes to be e of i minus 1 into e of i square minus e of i into e of i minus 1 square multiplied by f double dash y divided by twice e of i minus e of i minus 1 multiplied by f dash y. On simplifying again this equation we get e i into e i minus 1 into f double dash y upon 2 into f dash y. Now this is our equation number 2. Now we have to find the order of convergence of this method. So for doing this we must consider the formula e of i plus 1 is equals to k into e of i to the power m. It is the formula for the order of convergence method. Here small m stands for the order of convergence and k is any constant. Now for finding the appropriate value of m we write it here e of i is equals to k into e of i minus 1 to the power m which is same as the previous equation only we have changed the value of e of i plus 1 to e of i. Now again by writing this we can also write this equation like this e of i minus 1 is equals to e of i divided by k whole to the power 1 by m here we we are finding the value of e of min, e of i minus 1 from the previous equation now this is our equation number 4 on putting the value of e of i minus 1 in equation number 2 which is this equation we can get the equation number 5 which says e of i plus 1 is equals to e i into e of i to the power 1 by m into f double dash y divided by 2 f dash y into k to the power 1 by m. Here on comparing our equation number 5 with equation number 3 we can see that in place of e of i to the power m we have our e of i into e of i to the power 1 by m. So we can write here 
e of i to the power 1 plus 1 by m and here of the our term this is our constant which is k now this is our k f double dash y divided by 2 into f dash y into k to the power m 1 by m solving for m from equation 6 which is this uh, on this uh, writing this equation again we can write this as m is equals to 1 plus 1 by m we can solve the quadratic equation which is m square minus m minus 1 is equals to 0 at the value of m which comes to be 1.62 now here m is our order of convergence of our secant method on writing this value again in previous equation we can obtain this thank you